Hello. I want to talk about having the courage to think consciously. And I want to relate it to a meme that I saw on good old Facebook. Now, here's the meme here. So, haha, that's really funny. A dog has a shock collar on and the dog's looking calm. Oh, surprise, surprise, that dog may actually be in a state of learned helplessness because shock collars cause pain, anxiety and fear in dogs. And that's what the science says. The science says that we should avoid using shock collars, prong collars, choke chains, punishment, intimidating techniques when we're training animals. So we've reduced a living, breathing, pain feeling animal to an it, to a thing. But we're also laughing at that animal's potential suffering. Now you might be interested to know that a veterinarian posted that meme. And there were more veterinarians laughing about that than I really thought there would be. And this is what I'm talking about with respect to a lack of consciousness. What that veterinarian and those other veterinarians have in common with us is that we're all humans. But we all function at different levels of consciousness. And unfortunately, this veterinarian is functioning at a complete with a low level of consciousness or a complete lack of consciousness and this is pretty insidious because with a lack of consciousness comes apathy and that apathy can have an insidious nature as that meme depicts or it can have tragic consequences for animals where we see for example an animal having a leg amputated in error. But we also have a collective apathy where we have millions of dogs that are bred into existence, certain breeds of dogs that are bred into existence with exaggerated physical features that cause serious, serious problems to their health and their welfare. Breeds like British Bulldogs, Pugs, Dash Hounds, Boston Terriers, Bull Terriers, Puppy mills, and we have a proposed puppy mill in Brisbane on Steve Irwin Way, and there's a petition in the link below if you'd like to sign that to lobby against that proposal. But we also have a collective apathy of millions of, of animals that are intensively, intensively farmed and bred into existence, suffering lives of forced impregnation and on a cycle of having various health concerns such as feet abscesses, mastitis, all of these are just routinely treated under the guise of herd health and welfare until those animals are no longer of use and then they're slaughtered. We also have a collective apathy where millions of intensively farmed animals are bred into existence only to be reduced to processed dry food to be put on supermarket shelves or placed in veterinary surgery, surgeries as prescription diets. There's also a collective apathy in relation to live animal export. The, the <laughs> new legislation has just been put into place two weeks ago to protect the health and welfare of these animals. Yet as I speak, they are being loaded onto ships that are going to be travelling to destinations that have searing temperatures where they are at risk of simply being bald alive. And this is where it links right back to the meme that I put up earlier. When we start thinking consciously, especially when it comes to our dogs, let's make a start there. We move away from apathy and we walk towards empathy. And it also improves us as human beings. We become better people. And taking the first step in thinking consciously about our dogs also opens the door to us having empathy and compassion for all animal species. 